dearer compared to plates. Pancake plate. Yeah, pancake plate. As opposed to cylinder plate. Or like ramekin plate, that's what that means. Make sure when you're doing, you know, the centering by coning situation, you are coning up and down probably at least three times, about three times. It's a good idea. If you're doing less than three times, it's just not quite as well wedged. So, oops. Yeah, I got your back. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to kind of do the same thing, and we're going to start centering it lower and lower, except this time, instead of just stopping at the width of the foot, you're going to spread it all the way out into a pancake, and you're going to spread it out pretty much to the outer width of the rib. So, I'm making sort of a pancake. From center, right? Yep, center out. So, it's going to be the hardest to get it down in the center, so that's where you get the most force. However, what I feel that this is easier because instead of trying to pull it out with your fingertips, which is hard work, here you can kind of put your, you know, your muscle, your weight. When you're throwing, your weight should always be more or less above your piece anyway. So I'm just kind of leaning into it. And I tend to do this with the kind of the heel of my hand. Again, don't let this flop over and trap slip under it. If a trap slip under it, it's going to come off center and cause issues. So if it was centered to begin with, and you're applying even pressure, it should stay even. If you're getting bumps, they could be air bubbles. So make sure that you're not wedging air bubbles in on accident. Uh, they and you're pushing really hard. hard. I'm pushing really hard. Okay. Like I'm leaning into it. And I'm letting it be a little bit um, thicker in the middle. Because in the middle is where the center of it is going to be where I'm going to trim out the foot. So the foot's still going to be somewhere out here, right? But it can be thinner out here because this is going to become the rim. And right now, essentially, the plate is just totally flat, and then we're going to bring the rim back up. So it's kind of the opposite of what the other plate, we had the rim like this, and then we pushed it out. Now we have the rim like this, and we're going to push it up. So here, it takes a little bit longer to get out to that, to that center. So it's closer to half an inch here, but it's closer to a quarter of an inch out here because this is going to be the rim, and the rim doesn't need to be a half an inch. And again, you want to make sure you compress it. You're going pretty fast. Yeah, might as well. I typically throw fast, and then I slow down when I'm kind of ramming or doing some of those type of things. And again, you want to really compress it well, otherwise you're going to get those beautiful S cracks. If you want to check the thickness on it, so you're making literally a pancake. No, 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 delicious pancake. Eh, that's pretty thick. So we could go thinner than this, but for the purposes of not boring you guys, you guys understand where this is going? Yes, so you can keep flattening this out if you wanted to until it's about a quarter of an inch in the center. Still, you still want the center center part. I uh, haven't shaken. You. you still want the center center part to be lower than kind of this outer part, and then the rim can be thinner than everything else. All right, so you do that, and then. nice thing about doing the plate this way is if your outer rim is like messy or if it, if it gets uneven or whatever, just cut it off with your needle tool. Your plate becomes a little bit smaller, but it's more even and you're good to go. So that's kind of a nice thing. And then you're going to take your wooden tool and you're going to shove it under there and it's going to raise up your rim. And I'm clearing off all that gunk.
that little knocking sound you're hearing is the, the holes for the bat pins. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's, it's becoming a plate. Too much. Yeah, when you are compressing, you can do it with a sponge, without a sponge, whatever works for you. I kind of alternate. Can you do a credit card? You can do it with a rib, yes. Great. That was the other one, right? The upside down? The upside down plate is going to be the, this last one. Oh, okay. Do that right now. Okay, so let's cut this one off. 